Calvin Cater versus Arnold Allen to headline UFC Fight Night on October 29th. And this is great news. I really like this news. This is good. I like this fight. Calvin Cater, Arnold Allen. Didn't really see it coming, if I'm honest with you, but it's a good fight. It is a really good fight, and I can't wait to do an early prediction and breakdown to this fight. This is a good fight. I did not see this one coming. Calvin Cater, Arnold Allen, and this is a good fight. October 29th as well, so it's not like it's like early next year, late this year. So it's October 29th, which is very good to hear. This is a great fight. Calvin Cater, Arnold Allen. I hope this is an arena because this is in the apex. What a waste, UFC. Another L for your company. But, um, yeah. um, Great fight. Calvin Cater, Arnold Allen. This is huge. Possibly a title elimination bout. I guess this explains. And I guess this and is... This kind of, I guess this kind of officials Yair versus Emmett. In a, in a way, if you know what I mean. I mean, this kind of officials it. Arnold, uh... Um, if Allen wins, he ain't gonna... Why did Allen... I don't get this fight, honestly, because I understand, and, and I think this kind of saves Cater um, to get this fight, because Cater arguably beat Josh Emmett, and he, let's be real, he beat Josh Emmett, it was complete robbery, 4-1 Cater, I do believe, some people think 3-2, if you think Emmett won, get out, alright, no one fucking needs you in this, in this fucking company, and not company, I don't know why I keep saying company, no one needs you in this fucking sport, so get out, Josh Emmett, um, completely lost to Calvin Cater, and I think this kind of saves Cater to get this fight. If he, if he just lost to Emmett in general, I think Cater would be out of the conversation. But this kind of saves him to get this fight. But dumb move from Otto Allen, if I'm honest with you. Because he could have got a title shot, but I guess he's not going to get one now. I mean, if he wins, you could argue one. I mean, if he wins, and but Emmett and Yair might fight each other for like an interim belt. I think that's probably going to be what happens. Uh, I think that's probably going to be what happens. Winner fights Volk after Volk fights the winner of Oliver and Max Shevet Lightweight. This is great, though. This is really big. Like, Calvin Cater, Arnold Allen. Great fight. I In terms of, predi- in terms of a prediction, I think Calvin Cater is going to melt him in the later rounds. I hope he does as well, because if Allen wins, it'll be a little bit of a long time, a little bit at the top. Especially if Ayer and Emmett don't fight at the time. I think Calvin's got this. I do believe. And if Calvin wins, you can't give him a title shot. Like, he beat Giga. Like, that ain't, like that's all he's got. And, and Arnold. And I know he technically beat... I know he technically lost to Emmett. I know he... I know he lost... I know he technically should have beaten Josh Emmett. But he still lost on paper. This I think Kate, I think Kate is going to melt Allen Al- Al- in, in round four. Round five, beating him up. I mean, Giga did survive to a decision, and more so of a one-sided decision, but more of a scrappy decision back and forth. But then again, um, I think Giga is a tough guy, and we kind of didn't see that. But I think Allen is good. I like Arnold Allen. This is a big uh, step up. I mean, this is big for him. You know, I think this is a big one for him. I mean... Yeah, he beat Dan Hooker, but that was Hooker coming down, draining himself down, and he got cracked in that fight badly, and I think Cater is going to beat him. I think Cater is going to beat him. I mean, he got cracked by Hooker. I don't see Cater KOing him. I think Allen has an underrated chin. I mean, if if Cater had so much power, I mean, he should have put away Giga. I mean, the damage he put on him should have put in away Giga Jakedzi. Um, And yeah, um, he should have um, put away Giga Chikedzi. I think Allen is tougher than uh, than Chikedzi. And yeah, in the, sl- in, the, in, the, in the later rounds of, of Sadiq Yusuf versus Arnold Allen, Allen started to slow down in round three. And I think three rounds saves him here. And I mean, yeah, he put away Dan Hooker, but Hooker was just getting beat up with big shots. And I don't see Allen KO in Cater. I don't see Allen out grappling Cater. So I think he has to win a point striking game against Calvin Cater and make it very close but 
In a three rounder, I would pick Allen. I think Allen wins in a three rounder, but five rounder, Allen is going to lose. And I think he has to finish Cater early to win this one. But this is a great fight. Oh, I think Allen's good. I just don't see him beating Calvin. Calvin's different level, I think. Um, but if I'm, um, don't make this, I mean, it says Apex right now. I think it does say UFC Finite Apex. Um, UFC Apex right there. Which is annoying, because you could put this UFC Fight Night Boston. They were planning to go back there anyways, but they just didn't. They were going to go there for Marlon Vera, Dominic Cruz, but they instead put it at UFC San Diego. Go there, UFC Fight Night Boston. While you can, get Cater in that main event spotlight. He may never be at the top again. If he loses this one, he's out, probably. No more main events. Get that opportunity opportunity in. Make Allen go to someone's hometown. I mean, last time, he was uh, Dan Hooker that came to his place in hometown. Now, let go to Cater's home place and go fight in Boston. What's that card have already? It has... Yeah, a lot of guys will fight. I mean, this is a crowd. I mean, yeah, you can make a crowded arena with this. I mean, not the best of cards, to be honest with you. They have Delizzi, Hawes, Jacoby, Roundtree, which makes no sense of a fight. I don't get why they would make that fight. I mean, why would Jacoby look back? I think Jacoby will win that pretty easily. I don't know why Khalil Roundtree deserves to jump up, but... Yeah, um... They have Orlovsky, Delima... Uh, to Pierre Barboza. That's a freaking, that's a freaking Boston fight crowd right there. Maybe add some girls fight on the card. I mean, we don't even have one girls fight on the card. A uh, women's fight. Maybe add. Let's name one random women's fight. Um. Hmm. Um. Oh God. Um, <laughs> Jocelyn Edwards, Josiane Nunez. Let's just let's just do that. Um, yeah, Jocelyn Edwards, Josiane Nunez on this card. Maybe have one woman's fight. Maybe Maria Oliveira versus versus Cheyenne Bays or something like that. I don't know. Just random guessing right there, but that card is a Boston Fight Crowd card. Put it in Boston. They deserve to be having a comeback. Put it in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, TD Garden. Let's go. But this is a great fight. Cater versus Allen. Guaranteed fireworks. Early on, I think we'll be a bit patient, but I think the rounds go on. Cater will make it his side and one-side it and beat up Allen against the cage. Allen, get, Allen slows down a lot in his fights. I can see him winning the first two rounds. So if this was a three-rounder, Allen wins, I do believe. But five rounds, I mean, it's good for him taking five rounds. I mean, it's a good thing before you fight uh, for the title. Because um, Volk is going to be a real challenge in those five rounds. In those five rounders. But I just think Allen's going to lose. Hopefully he wins. I guess this makes Yair versus Emmett official. I don't know what Ortega's going to do. Ortega's probably going to have to fight Bryce Mitchell or something like that. What is Ortega going to do? Ortega kind of screwed himself over after that injury. Um, but, yeah. Um, shoot the Chargers out. Let's fix it. It's back in. Good. Freaking heck. But, um, yeah. Um, Ortega screwed himself over. Because Ortega... Versus Chikedzi? I guess that could be the fight, but Chikedzi don't deserve a jump up. And, um, yeah, he lost to number five Cater, and he gets number three Ortega. So if I'm Ortega, yes, I, I mean, he could just wait after his injury. And he, I guess he can fight Bryce Mitchell. But Mitchell, man, he doesn't deserve the jump up. You beat Barboza. Cool, dude. Maybe, I don't know, Evluev? I mean, let's say, but I don't know. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. <sighs> this is a big mess in the division right now. But, um, yeah. I don't know what Ortega's going to do. Ortega's, 
I say, I feel bad for Ortega. I feel bad for Ortega. But yeah. Um, I think Cater wins. That card's good, though. I mean, you got Barboza to Piria. Great fight. Great fight. That's a great fight. Barboza wins. Good for him. To Piria. That's a good fight. I mean, if Tapiria wins, you got Star and Tapiria, big name. You know, the guy that beat Ryan Hall, KO'd him, derailed him. Guy in the backstage with Patty Pimlet. Um, what else with him? What did he do as well? He did something else. He derailed Damon Jackson. He derailed Yusuf Zalal. And, uh, yeah. Tapiria, if he wins, it's a good fight. And Arlovsky de Lima is good. Jacoby Roundtree doesn't make sense, but it's still a good scrap. But yeah, Chase Hooper. That you had put that in Boston. Boston. Let's go. Botch, botch. Frozen like Elsa. Put it in Boston. Let's go. He's really easy on Sonia. This is Israel Sonia talking. It's not actually. It's an impression of me. Terrible. But yeah, um Cater I think melts him though. Cater's too good, man. I think he's too good. Yeah, he lost Holloway, but Allen doesn't got the pace, I don't think. If Allen wins, though, get him a title shot. Because if he wins this, you've got to give it to him. Especially if Emmett and Yair just sit out. All right? If I'm Yair and Emmett, book each other out with an interim title. So, yeah. Yeah, good for Allen, man. Really good for him. Yair and Emmett fight each other. They're both just going to sit out. Yair said he's going to shit sit out, and Emmett, I doubt, is going to want to fight. I mean, I doubt he's going to want to fight. I bet he'll just sit out. I mean, he's probably making good money, both of them. So if you both are going to sit out, fight each other. Don't just look the other ways. All right? Don't just look each way on your own direction. Turn around, face each other. Yair, Emmett's probably official now, so good for him. This is a good fight. Allen, I hope, wins. I really do. It would be cool to have another you know, UK champion, and maybe Allen's the guy to beat Volk, but I don't know. I just don't see it going well for um for Allen. I mean, if Cater wins, do Cater versus who knows? Um, Yair. I mean, you can't just fight Emmett. But new other news uh, reactions. I mean, other news. Um, we'll see. Um. Is there any other news? I mean, let's see. I mean, let's see. Any other news? MMA ideas I'm just going to go to. Because there are any other news of fights? Because I want to break them down. Um, headline. Headline Island. Cody Garbrandt. Ronnie Aya is out of the fight with Garbrandt. Um, against Garbrandt, so... That sucks for freaking Garbrandt, because this was such a free win for him. But Yaya has just pulled out. Sucks for Yaya, honestly. If I'm Yaya, I'm hitting myself in the head. I'm slapping myself, because this is a big fight. You don't really usually get this. If I'm Garbrandt, get this fight, but apparently they're going to try to get an opponent. Kyung Ho Kang, get in there. You took no damage against Dana Baccarel. When Yaya pulled out the first time, I was like, get Kyung Ho Kang in there. And yeah, um... Kang Ho Kang. Uh, Kyung Ho Kang. Kyung Ho Kang. Get, take this opportunity and get in there and fight Garbrandt. You could win. You probably won't, but you could. If I heard that Adrian Yanez is the front runner, I can replace him. This guy, Cody Stamen, Garbrandt, Carafant, Stu. I mean, we're the same. Um, Moutinho. <laughs> Moutinho. Paiva. Moutinho. He's not on the roster. Um, Moutinho. God, MMA Island is such a bot, man. Like, just, like, laugh up with a joke. Moutinho, he's laughing at this guy, uh, Double Nichols. And, and MMA Island's like, he's not on the roster. This guy's like, Moutinho. And MMA Island's like, he's not on the roster. Like, take a joke, MMA Island. You freaking idiot. No offense. But yeah. I don't know what to bring. Yeah, like and subscribe. I mean, that was basically it. I'm going to add that at the end. But, yeah. um, Big Marcel, though. I'll go to Big Marcel. What does Big Marcel have? Big Marcel. 
Yeah, not much. Kennedy or Strickland's rebooked. So yeah, good for both of them. Good for yeah, good for both. Of them. Good for Strickland. Good for him. And Sadiq Yusuf gets a new opponent. Probably Yusuf probably wins, but yeah, Jackson versus Arce, New York. Great underrated fight. Underrated fight right there. Probably will go Arce. Honestly, like and, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is an early prediction and breakdown for Calvin Cater versus Arnold Allen. And yeah, great fight. Cater wins one more. If I'm Cater, fight Yair. If I'm Arnold, if I'm Allen, fight whoever you can. Yeah, peace.